So GitHub just launched Copilot X. Your AI pair programmer is leveling up where it basically said that GitHub Copilot is evolving to bring you chat and voice interfaces. You can now do chat and terminal interfaces, support for pull requests and early adaptation of OpenAI's GPT-4. GitHub Copilot X is our vision for the future of AI powered software development integrated into every part of your workflow. So I saw some weird things on Twitter essentially saying that most of coding is now done by AI. So here you can see that content aware conversations with your copilot. If you're stuck solving a problem, ask GitHub copilot to explain a piece of code, bump into an error, have GitHub copilot fix it. So they've done copilot for a bit now, but it obviously hasn't been as good as GPT-4. And now they're integrating that into copilot as well which really helps expedite how fast you can do the code. So spend less time searching and more time learning by getting personal answers that are grounded in maintainer written documentation. It's also you know, way better at getting context. So you have your code, it can read the code and you can ask questions about the code. Previous versions like for example, even if you go into ChatGPT and you write some code, it will do some sort of hallucinations where it writes things that they're hallucinating that actually it exists, but it doesn't actually exist. You know what I mean? So here you can also see the pull requests that will be extremely beneficial for collaboration, new features that are getting added, changes on top of code. This will expedite the learnings and collaboration so much, it will be amazing to see how it will actually work. So pull requests that tell a story, GitHub Copilot keeps track of your work, suggests descriptions and helps reviewers reason about your changes with a code walkthrough. And that's the hardest part about, you know, hey, look at all this code, should we integrate this? And then everybody has to learn it and it's kind of hard to integrate, right? AI generated PR descriptions. We all skipped the pull request template too many times. And this is what I'm talking about. Automated testing, missed a test. Well, Copilot can point out missing unit tests and generate new test cases for you after every build. Take a command of your CLI. So this is very, very interesting. If you have been in the past taking a lot of code from Google, copy pasting it directly in and then not knowing what this all means. Forget how to delete a tag, ask GitHub Copilot for assistance right in your terminal. Need help with multi-step shell commands and scripting. And essentially for people that don't know, it means that you know if you don't know what F, uh, FMPEG means, you can see that it's used to convert video files. So it explains all the tags that you have in there, right? So here, can't wait for the future. You can sign up now and I'll show you what you need in order to sign up and everything like that. And you can see 74% focus on most satisfying work, 88% feel more productive and 96% are faster with repetitive tasks. If you tried to code even in ChatGPT, you obviously know how fast it is to do menial typing work that just isn't necessary anymore. GitHub Next is constantly exploring new ideas to create a more productive future of software development, helping you build what's next. So here are some frequently asked questions and the X represents a placeholder for where we intend GitHub Copilot to become available and what we expect it to be capable of doing, e.g. Copilot for pull request for security. Now, when will GitHub Copilot X be available and how much does it cost? It's currently a representation of GitHub vision for the future rather than an available product offering of GitHub Copilot. So they're gonna continue to design and test and build features that fall into the GitHub Copilot X vision. So they need to take some time. Uh, they need to obviously test it with multiple different people before we can actually get it directly in to our um, you know, code is going to break a lot of things, I believe. 
How do I get access to the upcoming features introduced with Copilot um, X? While we are available to guarantee access to each feature or unable to guarantee access to each feature, you can submit your interest by joining the waiting list to preview the features that you are interested in. So they have multiple different features and maybe you can join some of them and not all of them, but this, if they are moving as fast as Microsoft is, well, they'll be releasing things fast and um, you can probably get access to that. GitHub Copilot for business and GitHub Copilot for individuals will continue to be offered with the same feature set you know today. So you can see here that they need to continue to design, test, and build features that fall into the GitHub Copilot vision and determine the best way to provide them to our customers, which include changes to Copilot for business and for individuals. Now, when it comes to perspective on responsible use of AI, obviously everybody's talking about that because they don't want people to say, you know, the N word or say ya mom, ya mama jokes, you know, to you, like we've seen some with Bing. Um, so they've been committed to innovating responsibly with GitHub Copilot from the start and will continue to invest in the AI powered developer experience in the future. And this is amazing to see from GitHub and you know, that they are actually embracing the AI change. So coding can become kind of a different thing where you just text things to the code and the code writes itself, right? Now, keeping it professional, you know, you kind of got to keep it professional, improving code quality, making it shorter, cutting out the fluff, protecting user data. And a lot of people are kind of, um, hard on this with the uh, protecting user data. For example, Google's Bard said that, yeah, you, we can read your emails on Gmail. <laughs> they were like, yeah, nah, we don't, I don't want you to have access to our Gmail and it's illegal. So obviously protecting your user data is very important. And by the way, the Google Bard thing was just a mistake on Google Parts ache, right? So there are no, no prerequisites to preview GitHub Copilot for Docs. However, GitHub Copilot for Docs currently support the documentation for GitHub, React, MDN, and Azure. I also wanna show you guys this blog here, the AI-powered developer experience, where it basically said that GitHub Copilot is evolving to bring you chat and voice interfaces, support pull requests, answer questions on Docs, and adopt open ai's gpt4 so it can actually even do voice which is absolutely wild now i just want to scroll down here to show you guys a couple of images here so redefining developer productivity where 75 percent more fulfilled 55 percent faster coder coding 1 million developers using it 46 percent code written <laughs> it's now wild and 5,000 businesses have used it. So many developers and com um, companies are already using GitHub Copilot and it's helping improve productivity and happiness. So this is the previous version, right? Now I wanna show you guys how it kind of looks like so you can get an idea. So here you can see that it's basically the chat on the left and you can see here, please fix the bugs in my code. And just like that, it is copy paste. And just like that, it's fixed, right? And that is the end of this video. Yep. So you can see how beautifully that is done. You can also add support for the generic. Yeah, here we go. This pull request, <laughs> you know, this is like Gmail, but for coding and for pull requests. So this will help a lot of pe people uh, collaborate even more and it's amazing to see you can also see here that when you go into I found two changes that may need tests so it can actually check up on tests for you which is an extreme time saver here and suggest tests here and then it needs to do the test for these and just like that you just got a lot faster, right? Another example here is 
can see here, get AI generated answers about documentation. So this is almost kind of like a doc, right? It's almost kind of like a customer support type of thing where GitHub Copilot is actually answering for you without there actually being a human, but it looks more like a blog or it looks more like a chat inter or not a chat interface, more like a blog, right? So it looks like the customer support part of a website and it is way easier to use like that uh, compared to, you know, you can also probably do chat, but there you can also do the um, answers about documentation. So those are the things that I wanted to talk to you about for GitHub. I can't believe the time we are in where basically coding is gonna be something that even normal humans can do. It's kind of like learning a language like Spanish or English. You have to learn the entire language, but now you can learn by just asking questions to the computer and the computer will write the code for you even without having to learn the language itself. So I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description and you can join the waiting list. There's many different features. You can join the waiting list for CLI. You can enroll your repository. You can click a lot of these buttons to sign up to these features. And I'm gonna leave links to these in the description down below. If you want videos like this, where I share the newest updates on AI with you every single day, subscribe to the channel.